Hey, I'm going to show you guys the ultimate method to making title cards for your music videos. I'm going to be breaking down every single step that I use to make title cards in my own music videos and exposing every single little drop of sauce that I know when it comes to making title cards. But let's hop right into this. Opened up inside of Premiere Pro here, we have the timeless music video, and I'm going to be taking a screenshot from this opening up inside of Photoshop and creating the title card inside of there. Now, if you're asking, why don't you do it inside of Premiere? Why don't you do it inside of After Effects? This is my workflow. I absolutely love and adore Photoshop. If you guys don't have it, you could get it for free on the Adobe website. It'll be an older version, but it's the exact same thing. Or if you're subscribed to the Adobe Creative Cloud like I am and you get all the programs, you can get Photoshop for free. And before we hop into this video, my brand new plugin, Fast Effects, is finally out. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and a ton of other transitions inside of your video in just one click. Everything is fully customizable. I'm going to be using this on every single one of my projects going into the future as it adds so much energy so fast. You definitely need it as a time saver. And the effects are just so crazy. So if you guys want to go download Fast Effects, they'll be in the description. But let's hop right back into the video. So essentially what you want to do is you want to find like let's say we're going to have our title card on this scene right here you want to find a hero frame so i'm going to go ahead and find the best looking frame which i think is this one here and we're going to go over and take a screenshot now if you guys don't see this export frame camera button come over to this plus right here click on it and then you could just drag it down into here and then hit ok and then click it to take a screenshot and we're going to be browsing on our computer and clicking on where we want to save it to so find a folder that works for you and go ahead and hit ok now we're going to open up Photoshop and now that we're inside of Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead and hit open and we're going to open up that screenshot inside of Photoshop here. Now that the screenshot is loaded, you can hold option or alt on your computer to zoom in and out with your scroll wheel. And then you could hold spacebar to click and drag around. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this and we're going to go over to our text tool here. We're going to click on our text tool and what we're going to do is we're going to click and we're going to drag and you could set the size of your text up here just by dragging. So I'm going to make this say in all capitals timeless. And I'm going to press Control A to highlight it. And I'm going to go over and set it to the center right here. And then we're going to expand it. Now, this is obviously a terrible font. I'm going to go into my font library and show you guys I have a lots of amazing fonts. And the way that I get these fonts, like this one, for example, I don't think it's perfect. But the way that I get these fonts is I go over to websites like Defont. And when you go into Defont, you guys are going to see a ton of fonts that you can download for completely free. We're going to go over to Themes. And let's say we want something that's kind of like uh, square. You can get that inside of here. Or if you want something kind of like destroy or let's do horror. You get lots of that stuff inside of here. So this is obviously a goaded font. There's this one here. Let's go ahead and hit download. And just download it to where you want on your computer. I went ahead and hit save. Now you want to go ahead and double click on the zip. And now just go over to the font, double click on that. It'll unzip. Double click on the folder, find the TTF, double click on that, and it's going to open up this whole installation process, which is super simple, super streamlined to do. We're going to go ahead and hit install here once it's done validating, and it is installed. So now you want to press T, highlight your text, go over here, and we'll search up who asks Satan. Now we have our font inside of here, super simply, just like that. Now let's go ahead and change the color of it to something, we'll do like a red, do like a darker red though. And now what we could do is go ahead and scale it up and the detail is there. It's not lost. Now I think this looks fire. We're going to go ahead and add Playboy Cardi. We're going to go ahead and size this down and I'm going to write Playboy Cardi and we're going to put that like there or something. And then we'll write uh, the weekend and we'll put that like here. You guys can also mess around and put them in like certain areas. I think it's cool just to kind of build like uh, style to it so I think that looks good there too and you guys can change this as well if you don't like this font I recommend using like a bold font or something for your text to make it stand out a bit more so there's always like this option too so that works as well and then what font do we use here we just click on it uh, not that one turn this layer off for now click on this font with the text tool it's called Arial black so we're gonna highlight the weekend Arial black regular and then we'll turn this down to like 60. Let's see what this one's at actually, just click on it, 38. So then we'll go ahead and click on this one and change this one to 38, 38. Sweet guys, and we'll turn the timeless text back on here and we'll just re, we'll move this to where we see it fits best, just like that. 
it looks to be centered with everything and you guys can put some additional text right here like the director's name or something totally up to you guys it's just how i like to format things if you like the other text better that's fine if you want to change the color to white you just have to highlight it go up to your color here and drag it to white do the exact same thing for the weekend here it's just to white and sweet that looks fire guys now i'm gonna show you guys so you can add some texture to this to make it stand out a lot more this is where the sauce comes in this is where everything i've learned over the past couple of years of doing music videos comes into play so if we click on the timeless text here and we go over to filter and we go down to distort and we go and do displace we have to convert it to a smart object which is fine we'll leave these both to 10 we'll hit okay it's going to go on your computer and look for a displacement map i'll have one linked in the description that you guys can download for completely free we're going to go into my effects folder as i have it inside of here and we have this displacement map that you guys can download in the description i'm going to double click on it and you guys can see boom we get a lot of distorted grainy texture just by doing that i think that looks great there guys you guys can do the exact same thing with this text as well here uh, just to make it a little bit easier what i'm going to do is holding command i'm going to click on both then i'm going to press command j to duplicate them now i'm going to right click with both of them uh, selected and we're going to hit merge layers and we're going to have the merge layers so we're going to turn the original text layers off and we just have these merged uh, png layer so what we're going to do to make this easier instead of just doing them each individually and nesting them we're going to go over to filter and do the exact same thing all over again we'll do distort displace and since they're a lot smaller i'm going to turn it down to five and five hit okay and we're going to place the displacement map on there as well and you guys can see we get this really cool uh, distorted text look here with lots of texture we could turn these ones back on if you guys want and uh, move them on top of it if you want to fill in like the gaps a little bit just like that totally up to you guys how you want to play around with it i think this looks fine though now what you could do as well is i love the way blurs look with grain we're gonna go ahead and hit blur here and we'll put on a gaussian blur on this text and it's super crazy right now at 20 we're gonna go ahead and turn that down let's do like a 0.8 hit okay then we'll go over to filter hit noise add noise and if we turn that up now we get something like that which has a lot of texture too guys anyways that's pretty much all the sauce i have for you guys if you guys have any other tips for creating titles let me know in the description below this is the way i like to do it i think it's fire the way you would export it inside of your video now is you turn up the background layer and you're going to press uh, command option s to save or you can go up here file uh, save as and you want to save it as a dot png i'm just going to call this title you save it as anything else like a jpeg or anything else the background is going to be white you want the background to be transparent which is why we're picking png we're going to hit save hit OK, open up Premiere Pro again, and then we're going to find it inside of our finder. And all you have to do is drag and drop it inside of your timeline, resize it, and you guys can see we have our music video title card right here. Coming. Super simple, just like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, my brand new plugin, Fast Effects, is coming out for Premiere Pro. It is available for pre-order right now. If you guys go ahead and pre-order, you'll get two additional editing packs under $40 for completely free, which is an absolute steal. I highly recommend going to my website and checking that out. But I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.